Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the next crack a pack episode today We are opening up a very special pack of Innistrad obviously one of the uh, all-time favorites in terms of magic sets for the large majority of magic players uh, And for good reason the flavor in this set is fantastic very gothic horror uh, And a lot of great cards actually sitting at the top. We have Liliana of the Veil uh, sitting at 120 bucks uh, just below her at eight, at 75 to 80 bucks. We have snapcaster mage uh, From there. There's a pretty big drop-off down to balefire dragon, which is sitting right around $20 But still a great card and a lot of other great cards like parallel lives and things like that in here uh, So really excited to open this as always We are gonna go through this as if we are in a pick one pack one situation So we're gonna actually look at this from a limited standpoint and see which card we would actually pick so hopefully you guys can learn something as we go along our first common is Ghoul Caller's Chant. Uh, this is a sorcery for one black and you can choose one. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand or return two target zombie cards from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, zombies obviously were a big part of this. However, I do not like this card. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it does enough for me. Uh, Doom Traveler is a 1-1 one, one for one white and when it dies, you put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. I actually love this card. Uh, maybe not so much in limited, but it is definitely a good one drop. Uh, definitely not first pick necessarily, but so far it's definitely beating the chant. Uh, Lost in Mist, in the Mist, excuse me. Three and two blue for an instant counter target spell and return target permanent to its owner's hand. This actually seems for a limited environment only pretty decent. Uh, that being said, I tend not to draft counter spells that much. Uh, this card so far is going to be the best. So Ambush Viper. A 2-1 two, for 2, 1 and a green. It has Flash and Death Touch. Uh, so really this is like kind of a, an awesome removal spell. You can flash it in for 2, uh, block something really, really strong, and because of the Death Touch, it's always going to take it out for the most part. So, so far that's definitely in the running. Uh, spare from Evil, 1 and a white for an instant. Uh, creatures you control gain protection from non-human creatures until end of turn. I don't like this card personally, so that would not be in my pick. Uh, Chapel Geist, 1 and 2 white for a 2-3 with flying. This is actually decent uh, in terms of just curving out, having a nice flyer on 3 uh, that has 2 power in the air. I think that's decent. I think I would still take the Ambush Viper over it. Uh, just personal um, preference there, though. Uh, Silent Departure, a sorcery for 1 blue. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Uh, and then you can also flash it back, which is a very popular mechanic in this set for four and a blue. I actually like this card. I think it's decent. Uh, I tend to go for creatures above instants and sorceries for the most part in limited. Uh, that, but this is actually quite good, I would say. Uh, Night Revelers, a 4-4 four, four for five. It has haste as long as an opponent controls a human. Uh, I, I want to take this opportunity to talk about cards like this, actually, because I really hate cards that are dependent upon the opponent. Uh, unless you're like somehow making them control a human, it's really just not worth it to have cards like this. Uh, that being said, it is a 4-4 body, which isn't bad, and it is a vampire, which has some tribal synergy. But other than that, it just isn't very good, so that would not be a good pick, in my opinion. Uh, Spectral Flight, 1 and a blue for an enchant creature. The enchanted creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and has flying. This also is a kind of card that I don't particularly enjoy in limited. Uh, enchant creatures, while very powerful and can definitely get you over the top very quickly, uh, kind of suffer from a common problem, which is that uh, if, if the creature that the enchantment is tied to is destroyed or is sacrificed or anything like that, it's sort of just no matter what going to be a two for one because you're killing or the opponent is killing the creature but also the enchantment uh, for really just one card. So for that reason, I tend not to want to draft those. Uh, Grasp of Phantoms. This card is fantastic. Three and a blue for a sorcery put target creature on top of its owner's library. Uh, and then you can also flash it back for seven and a blue. This is actually something that for me would beat out the Ambush Viper. This really sets your opponent back and you can use it twice. Uh, and generally, if you're running a card like this, you're kind of in the tempo strategy. So you're really worried or you're really trying to set your opponent back, uh, which just makes it great. Uh, is Inquisitor's Flail. Uh, two, ca two casting cost artifact equipment. If a cre equipped creature would deal combat damage, it deals double that damage instead. If another creature would deal combat damage to the equipped creature, it deals double that damage to the equipped creature instead. I really don't like this card. It's sort of a like high risk, high reward kind of strategy. 
Um, it is a lot of damage, which is cool, but I'd rather just spread that damage out across other creatures. Uh, Murder of Crows, 3 and 2 blue for a 4-4 four, four flyer. When it dies, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. This, for me, so far, is definitely the pick. This card is fantastic. And our rare... Oh, okay, so... <laughs> Uh, Snapcaster Mage. So a 2-1 for one and a blue with flash. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target, inst uh, target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. And that flashback is equal to its mana cost. This card is great in constructed. Not necessarily the best in, uh, in a limited environment. That being said, maybe just for value I'd take it. I uh, don't really know. Uh, and then we have one flip card here. Uh, Civilized Scholar. A 0-1 for three. Uh, you can tap it to draw a card, then discard a card. If a creature card is discarded this way, then you uh, untap it and transform it into a 5-1. And at the beginning of your end step, if it didn't attack this turn, uh, then transform it back. So, I mean, this is really interesting. I didn't expect to pull a Snapcaster Mage. Um, f honestly, for power level, I would probably pick Murder of the Crows, just realistically. It's a 4-4 flyer for 5 that has some upside if it dies. Snapcaster is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a sleeve on me right now, by the way, which is why I'm not sleeving this card. I promise I will as soon as I get off of this. But um, definitely for value, I would pick Snapcaster. But I think for power level, Murder of the Crows. Hopefully you guys agree with that. Hopefully this has been an exciting back opening. Uh, kind of insane. I uh, Yeah, this is, out of all the cards, I didn't expect Snapcaster. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, and make sure if you do have any pack suggestions, please leave them down below. We actually do take those into consideration. If we can get our hands on them, we will, of course, get them. Uh, that does rule out, unfortunately, stuff like Alpha and Beta. Sorry, guys. But uh, we will do our best to get our hands on any other packs that we can possibly get that are within our price range. Uh, but again, I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you're notified on all of our content. Uh, but until the next video, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I will see you later. Thank you again for watching.